Hey everybody, can you guess what has three and a half times the amount of energy that 556 does? How about our friend 338 Remington Ultramag? This particular round right here is a 250 grain pointed soft point. It comes right around 2,900 to 3,000 feet per second or roughly 45 to 4,700 foot pounds of energy depending on how this chronographs. So you're asking me, what are we going to do with this guy today? It just so happens that I have this level 4 standalone plate from Armorware here. This will be the first level 4 plate that I will be testing on my channel. This particular plate from Armorware is 7 pounds, 8 ounces, 3 quarters of an inch thick. It's multi-curve for comfort. Construction on this is similar to other level 4s got an aluminum ceramic and e-glass backing. This plate is designed to stop one shot of 30-06 M2 AP and various other subcalibers such as SS109, M193, M80 Ball, and 762x54R. So for today's test, we're going to strap our Armorware Level 4 plate to our clay briefcase that we've used before with the soft armor so we can get a good idea of back face deformation. Obviously, I am not a scientific lab. The results on the back face deformation may not be 100% accurate, but they'll give you a good baseline for what to expect if you were to actually get hit with a 338 at 40 feet with this. Once we complete the 40 foot test we will go out to a local range and we will do a more realistic shot of 400 yards give or take and whatever I can count accurately. So let's get set up for all this because it's going to take me a few minutes today. Here is the clay we'll be using for the test today. It's approximately three and a half inches deep, 12 by 12, We're right around 92 degrees in the core. Couldn't get much hotter. It's pretty cold outside today, about 40. But this will serve as a good representation of what kind of back face deformation we're going to see when we hit this level 4 with 338 rum. So it's wet, it's raining, we're set up. We might as well take the shot and see what we get. The clay block is about 95 now. See if we can get the chronograph to read. Velocity was twenty seven fifty four. So we brought the plate back to my house so we could get a better look at it in the light because it was just getting way too dark outside. I probably should have waited, but with the weather being as it is, I've got to take my chance some days to record video. So these results are pretty surprising. Level 4 is meant to stop 30-06 armor piercing with that tool steel core in it. I do believe the NIJ standard for the test is at 40 feet. We were approximately 40 feet with our 338 Ultra Mag at 250 grain. And everything I can tell appears to have punched right through it. You can see the hole here. There is a jacket fragment embedded in the hole there. Pull that out. So here, here's the uh, ceramic layer of the plate. It's the front side. Here's the fiber layer. It's pretty thick. back side of the plate 
has a like neoprene rubber coating to help absorb shock. Again, there's there's what looks like a penetration to me. The this thing's falling apart. The hole that we have here. That's a pretty big crater. I mean, it lifted. This was all flat. These indents, for the most part, were for me from pushing the plate to get it flush with the clay. So, I mean, that's a pretty big hole. I don't even think my depth gauge. I mean, it's plus 54 millimeters deep. So that's well beyond the 44 millimeters. I'll see if I can dig the bullet out of here real quick. So after a little digging, we found what appears to be the base of the bullet. It's copper. There's a little lead attached to it. It was all the way in the bottom of the hole. This hole's only about three inches deep, and then you run into wood. It doesn't look like there's any penetration in the wood, so it didn't have a lot of energy left after penetrating that plate, but it still had enough to do it. Realistically, you'd probably never encounter a situation where you'd come in contact with somebody with this magnum caliber at 40 feet. You have to be pretty oblivious to walk up on someone as that, and they probably have to make a last ditch effort to take that shot at you at 40 feet with this. The manufacturer requested that we shoot at 40 feet because frankly, I don't think I've seen anybody else on YouTube shoot a level four plate at 40 feet with anything in 338. So now that we got that test out of the way, I've got one more test for you. We're going to re-mold this block so it's nice and flat. We'll get it heated up, and we're going to step out to 400 yards. So let's get out there. So we're out battling the cold again today. It's about 30 degrees. We've got our shot set up for 400 yards with our armorware level 4 plate, 250 grain, 338 rum. We won't be running the chronograph today because I don't want to take the chance of trying to get everything lined up for it. We ran this the other day at 27.54, so we'll go off those numbers. Our clay is about 82 degrees. It's still pretty soft, so it should work good for back face. We built the clay up since the plate is curved, so we should get a good back face signature. So we used a Bushnell rangefinder, and we're right around 400 yards. Velocity of the 338 at 400 yards should be right around 2,000 feet per second, and we're right around 2,000 foot pounds of energy. Our target will zoom in on it as best as we can. Is on top of the yellow jug there, the clay against the white backdrop. Cool. Hopefully it's where we wanted it. So here was our shot. We were about three and a half inches, four inches in on the plate there. No pass through. There is our dimple there. We'll get this back home and measure it kind of cold out here and I forgot the caliper so let's uh, meet back up at the house. Now well, we're back in the man cave. Here's our level 4 plate. Did really well at stopping that round at 400 yards. We have some spider cracking coming from the epicenter here. I wonder if this part of the plate may be still good for testing. Probably shouldn't chance it for the most part. Your level 4 plates are kind of a one and done thing to ensure integrity. I mean you can see that that blew some of the ceramic apart so you definitely wouldn't want a chance trying to get hit with more than that. But it's kind of cool how it gathers all the ceramic up and kind of creates like a plug almost to help stop that round. I tried to look for some of the lead. I didn't see it. But you can kind of see some of the discoloration in there from where the round splattered apart. The back side's pretty neat here. You have almost what looks like an epicenter, like a shock wave that it starts here and then ripples out there. You can see the rings in this neoprene coating back here. As far as the back face deformation goes, I want the clay to be a little warmer. It's really good at about 95 when I've calibrated it before, but we were 
10 degrees below, but it's still pretty pliable. So as far as back face goes, for handy dandy little gauge here, make sure we're zeroed out. Take a measurement here. We're at 15.88 millimeters. Like I said, this clay is close to what they actually use in the test labs. It's a little on the underside, so realistically you may see two to three more millimeters in depth, but you're allowed 44 millimeters, and we're you know well under that. It's kind of neat that you can see the information label transferred some of its ink to the uh, clay there. You can see the rippling a little bit there. So all in all, at a realistic distance, these level four plates can engage a 338 caliber round just fine. I mean, 400 yards is a pretty good distance to judge them by. Obviously, the 40 foot test was a way out in left field extreme test beyond any measurements that I've ever seen anybody take, but it was just to see what it'd do because I've never seen it done before. A big thanks to Armorware for providing these plates for us to test, and a big thanks to you all for watching my channel and subscribing and everything that you do. Thanks again for watching everybody, until next time.